70 years ago, Soviet troops discovered a gateway to a world-renowned nightmare. They encountered the gates of Auschwitz. Yet, on the heels of the end of World War II was the growth of the next global nightmare, one that flew under the radar until persistent rumors became deadly realities. The military might of the Soviet Union made Stalin a vital ally in our win over the Axis powers. Yet Stalin's brutal and opportunistic ways of taking advantage of World War created a legacy of death and domination in Eastern Europe that resonates even today. Yes, Hitler was responsible for millions of deaths, yet so was Stalin. And where was Hitler in the 1930s? He failed where Stalin and his successors were powerful over the course of the following decades. They were able to expand their influence over a region of quasi-autonomous states by way of an oppressive and manipulative centralized power. The vision that Soviet leaders had for the Ukraine during the Cold War parallels what Vladimir Putin may seek in the sovereign nation of Ukraine today. And that might not be the only chilling parallel that we're dealing with. For example, just as there was a pattern of appeasement as Nazi Germany invaded Austria and Czechoslovakia, the past few years has seen muted responses to Russian aggression against Georgia in 2008, Russian control of the Crimea last year, and ongoing tensions in Ukraine today. Just as Hitler made alliances with others hell-bent on shifting power globally, Putin continues to forge deeper relations with Syria, Iran, and China even today. Even as the brutal Syrian civil war rages on, Iran continues its shell game with nuclear capabilities, and China plays by its own rules regarding the global economy and cybersecurity. In the mindset of history has a funny way of repeating itself, maybe we should ask ourselves if the expansion of a former world power into sovereign parts of Europe requires a higher sense of priority from America. After all, is a group of 30,000 Muslims more of a global concern and national threat than a nation with established nuclear capabilities, friendships with questionable state actors, and an apparent thirst to expand its global influence? Is the reality of terrorism greater from a group that is outraged over a cartoon or for threats of cutting off gas supplies to a nation of 45 million people during the winter and ongoing violence that threatens to break up Ukraine? Is the formation of ISIS's caliphate scarier than the possible reformation of a regional power that helped bring us to the brink of nuclear war not that long ago? Sure, we have domestic battles with our economy and social issues to address at home. So perhaps the crisis between Ukraine and Russia might be only Europe's concern for now. But didn't we say something like that about 70 years ago when we were distracted by the Great Depression and other domestic issues while another former European power flexed its muscles? Time and our actions will tell whether or not the battles in Donetsk can simmer down to a place of mutual peace or for living a tragic deja vu all over again.